Slava Isusu Christu. Slava In the Gospel of Saint Luke, we just heard a second ago, we hear the same pattern that happens with any curing or healing. Somebody walks up to Jesus and says, Lord, help me. Be it leprosy here or some other sickness. And Christ is able to do this only by asking in reverse, either by action, as in this account where that man is saying that, can you cure of my sickness, knowing that Lord can do this. He's saying, do you believe that I can do this? Christ is unable to perform miracles if the person who is approaching him is not believing that he's capable of doing, that he is the Lord and Savior who can save the person from sickness or anything else. Today, in the beginning of month of September, we as a church place the cross of Christ in the middle of the church. It's no longer the cross of suffering only. It's not the cross that we place on Good Friday as a sign of Christ's passion and death. In the Troparion we sing, to your cross of Christ we bow in veneration and we venerate your holy resurrection. This is the sign of victory. The cross in the middle of the church, as we start the liturgical year, reminds us that it's the passion and resurrection of Christ that gives us a strength to carry in our daily lives. St. John of Damascus, in a beautiful way, asked his contemporary at that time, perhaps on a feast of exaltation, when you come to kiss the cross, or as beautifully he says, when you stand in a shadow of the cross. Living in the Middle East, you don't have too much shadow. So being in a shadow means a protection. Being in a shadow means a place of rest. Being in a shadow means a place of quietness and protection. So when we come to the cross, as St. John of Damascus is saying, when you stand in a shadow of the cross, he asked his contemporary, when you kiss that cross, are you kissing this as a sign because all the other community is kissing? Are you kissing it because it's tradition to do so? Are we kissing this cross because the liturgical year reminds us to do this? Or, as we come in a shadow of the cross, as we come to kiss this cross, are we kissing this as a sign of our salvation? As a sign of the victory of cross over death in our lives? As a sign of resurrection for each and every one of us? St. John of Damascus is asking this at the time when the church is persecuted. At the time when the church, to be a Christian, to make a sign of the cross was a commitment. You may lose your life by following that commitment. Today, perhaps we are not persecuted yet in a place where we live, in a place where we preach, but being Christian, and proclaiming the victory of the cross is definitely not what the society, not what the world at the large is following. But as this man who came to be cured of leprosy today in the gospel, comes to Lord believing that he is able to do so, are we, on this day of leave taking of the cross, coming to kiss this cross as a sign of salvation for each and every one of us. Knowing that whatever is to happen, we know that our future is secure in heaven, that our salvation is given 
and only by following day by day in a footstep of the cross will be able to attain that place that has been prepared from the beginning of the time. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christ.